So for data practice, we're going to go through the four steps. We have the verb, buys. Who or what buys? The male student. The subject of the sentence is known in German as the nominative case. So der Schüler kauft. The male student buys who or what? The male student buys a book. A book is now the accusative case direct object. Now, note the gender of book. Book is das Buch. It's sächlich or neuter. So it has no ending for the neuter accusative. Now, der Schüler kauft ein Buch for whom or to whom for his female teacher. This is the dative case because this is the indirect object. So, because it's the indirect object, we want to make sure we have the gender. So the gender of Lehrerin, it's feminine or weiblich. So we want feminine, dative. And if we look at a chart, until you get used to it, feminine dative is ER. So, der Schüler kauft seine Lehrerin ein Buch. My aunt and my uncle give my father the car. What's the verb? What's the subject? This time you have a compound subject. Can you figure out the endings? Tante is feminine. Uncle is masculine. Meine Tante und mein Onkel geben give who or what? They give the car to whom or for whom? My dad. Oh, sorry, Das is neuter in case you want to know. So, my dad, date of indirect object. Oh, sorry, date of masculine. Masculine, date of EM ending. Oops, I <laughs> got a little carried away there. Meine Tante und mein Onkel geben meinem Vater das Auto.